Wisconsin players up against Ned and the Buzz, who just came up off a win going up against Common and Yeti. And this last set, I just want to say this hype between yes, these two absolutely hype. these two teams. So this is going to be interesting <laughs> to watch going into it. Um, so starting off for, right away, the difference between what you got to look at is uh, how Snake handles the entirety of the stage. And then Dr. Mario pretty much covered the rest of it. Oh, yeah. And one thing I want to point out right away going into this set. Font and Marshall have about five years of experience being static oh, teammates with each other. Like, we, one thing we saw in the earlier sets was just how much, like, combo potential they just had off of each other. Snake down throwing a dock forward smash. We saw so many conversions off of each other. But both DeBuzz and Ned are extremely great players. Both are PGR'd right now. Amazing up smash. No way of getting around that up smash. It will kill. That is a Mario up smash, but beefy. Yeah. So, so I mean, also, it's tough playing Doc in doubles, because like, especially against characters like Joker and Rosalina, because if Doc's off stage, there's not a whole lot Doc can do aside from like getting hit once and they're dead. Yeah. Your recovery with Dr. Mario is very linear, so Marshall's gonna have to do a very uh, careful job at you know, watching Fonz when he's off stage, but you see, Marshall's also getting edge guarded, and Dr. Mario oh. can't do a lot to save him, but we'll, Joker's dead from that. Joker's gonna die to that. Now, it's edge guarding this Rosalina that's gonna be a bit of a focal point because Rosalina does have that very linear recovery. And what an reading amazing that roll read! That Stretching high. that leg all the way up to get that kill, and now Ooh. Fonz, Marshall. It's a lot more evened up now. Even match. Ooh, good tag. Now, what Marshall is just snake wants him off stage. This is my ledge. You don't get this. Snake does not. Snake controls the ledge. Oh yeah, his ledge trapping is phenomenal in this game. Yeah. All like all your projectiles and all your moves do like so much damage, and they're perfect for ledge in this yeah. game. And Fonz on the other side, just kind of keeping Rosalina away, keeping DeBuzz away from Snake, so Snake can do his do his stuff. Mm -hmm. Nope, Fonz is just going to be covering Marshall as hard as he can. You see, Marshall's just going to town here on Ned, and Fonz is just not letting the buzz in. Despite him not doing a ton of percent to the buzz, he's just like focusing, like the whole focus right now is on Ned. They do not want Arsene coming out. They do not want that extra damage that Arsene does. Yeah. Both Ooh, of these Luma's gone. Oh! oh Killing teammates, I guess. Ooh, that, did, that only did 18 though. Wow. Dang. Okay. Snake fine. Joker. I don't dead. think Joker's fine. Joker's. Off. Joker's not fine. Uh oh. That, might that be could a dead spell dog. dead Dr. Mario. But uh, got some dog. percent. Got some last percent on the buzz. Like I'm not going out without a fight. And now it's now it's up to Marshall. <laughs> Unranked in Wisconsin, by the way, up against the number nine player in the world in a one v one. Oh yeah. You know, we'll just have to see how Marshall plays this. Like, he needs to get out of this advantage and reset neutral, but so far he hasn't. But he gets back on stage. Percents are sort of evened up now. I think Dash Tech is going to be a huge tool. Oh, I totally forgot. Rosalina can just do that. Yep. Yeah, that stops a lot of snakes. Uh, ledge trapping. Nice. Dash attack read. One thing we're going to see DeBuzz doing is playing a lot more safe. He does yeah, not want to get hit by any of these kill options because. I wouldn't say Marshall's at kill percent from any random move, but the buzz is the buzz is at that percent now. We're in up till up till will spell death. Ooh, nice grab read. Oh, oh goes okay, for the. Okay, yep, that instant dash tag coming in gonna be real nice. Yeah, the buzz is just the buzz is just waiting for Luma. Has it back now, and uh, we're gonna have to see how Marshall ooh, rolls into it. How is he gonna just keep playing neutral? Kind of forcing to buzz. I don't know. Yeah, forcing to buzz to play around his grenades. Snake's playing his own game, and Rosalina. Yeah, Snake's a BB boy. He's fine. Oh yeah, and yeah, there's no way he's gonna die from that. That was a good parry. Like he was reading that jab, but just wasn't able to get anything out of yeah. that. Reads the low recovery. Yeah, nothing you can do against that. Yep. Ah, yeah. Unfortunate, Indeed. but game one going to DeBuzz and Ned. Very close. Very close. Very very close. It came down to about one or two uh, edge. Interactions that oh, yeah. spelled uh, Fonz's doom. Yeah, Doctor Mario, what are you gonna do what when you're you trying to recover do? with that I mean, character? He can't really do much. He's that, he's been doing really good on stage so far, and in the winners sets that uh, Marshall and Fonz were playing in on stream, we saw Marshall covering Fonz a lot better off stage. Um, he's just got to do that a lot better, 
and uh, they'll be able to take this game too, but you can't count DeBuzz and Net out. Oh, not at they, all. They, uh, despite, I don't want to say the obvious lack of synergy, but you, you can tell they don't like team a lot. They complement each other in some situations. Yeah, but for sure. Their awareness of each other just isn't as good as Fonz as Marshall. Yeah. But they're still two really good players. You know, you can't count oh. Arsene out. Arsene was putting in work off stage, got a solid amount of kills on Fonz. It's just about will Marshall and Fonz cover each other even better? Or will the Buzz and Ned uh, start covering each other? Like, yeah. it's just they have to start gaining that synergy. Game yeah. two. And at this point in the tournament, I guess it's either it's a it's a pretty do or die situation. Like you've got to be able to play off each other, and if not, then you're gonna get you're gonna lose to teams like Marshall Ponds. But Indeed. they seem to be doing pretty well. Game one, even though it did come down to a one v one, they did do pretty well. Yeah, and Marshall kept it close in that one v one. There there yeah. wasn't like a clear dominance until Marshall was off stage. Ah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Can't ever count Snake out in neutral. Can't Feels like it's been so way too long since I've seen. The Dr. Mario on stage. <laughs> oh, yeah. After that long 1v1. So, Joker seems like he's putting in a lot of work. That Arsene meter fills up so quick. Yeah. Like, any any little amount of percent that you take is just, like, just basically saying, soon I will be winning neutral for free. Yeah. And it... I was going to say that last game they were doing a pretty good job of, like, separating the two and kind of exposing that weakness of not being able to synergize well. And in this game, they've been doing, they seem to be close, a lot closer together to Buzz and Ned. Oh, yeah. And kind of dealing the damage at the same time. All they need to do is close that space, because we saw game one, you know, there were a lot of situations where Ned was off stage and Fonz was just not letting the Buzz cover him. Charge up smash, catches the drop shield, and that will spell death for the Buzz's first stock. Fonz is going to attempt to recover now. And Nothing, and nope. both red team members are dead. <laughs> Yeah, and Ned still got all three stocks. Try not to lose that, but you know, he is at kill percent to a good old Dr. Mario down tilt to down B. Speaking of which. <laughs> 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 that, down, that down tilt got such a major buff. Like having the uh, knockback growth decreased helps him out so much. Doc has so many more true combos at higher percents. I'm pretty sure Doc has down tilt to Uppy as a true combo. Yeah. Like, that's, uh, that kills. That's pretty crazy. I've seen Fox do that once or twice today. Yeah. And we'll just have to see if he can, you know, use that some more. Ned is still on his first stock, and as Not I before. say that, Ned will be losing his first stock to a smart C4. And... Nice combo off that uh, forward throw. You can see just little by little, Ned and the Buzz are feeling a little bit more comfortable with each other. You can see them converting off of their throws a lot more often. You can see them catching each other's weaknesses. Yeah. You didn't see that in the winter set, and that's probably what gave Marshall and Funds the win right away. And uh, yeah. ooh, that grenade pulls good edge dead. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. He's not gonna do jump. it. Oh no. Will that spell oh, death my. for Snake? No. Nope. That will not. Be the death of Snake. Oh my! He wants it though. He really wants yeah, Marshall Buzz dead. Yeah, going in for this kill on Snake. Oh, nice down air back air. That's gonna put solid amount of percent on Fonz, and this is looking worse and worse for Red Team. The more it happens. Yeah. Ooh, nice forward smash. That's not gonna kill Marshall, but it's gonna kill Ned. Yeah, they've done that a couple times. I think there's a small window where either one of them gets hit. Where yeah, where Snake doesn't get hit. Yeah. But it, the thing is, like in both Smash or in Ultimate, when you throw, when you throw, you're invincible throughout the entirety of your animation. Yeah. And because Snake down throw is so slow, like one thing Fonz and Marshall have both left out was trying to see how can we down throw into something. Uh, this is a very interesting situation we have, like where the buzz is at a low percent, and Ned is, is at very a high close percent. To and. Uh, I think this is just going to be... Yeah, DeBuzz is coming over to save his teammate. Yeah, this is just going to be... Can they kill Ned first, or can they not? Oh, that, watch that shield, like that, boy. Yeah, that high recovery is going to make Marshall be able to get back on stage safely. I think they've got to really focus on Ned here. Oh, yeah. You don't like you don't want to leave Ned out at that percent for too long, because once he gets Arsene, that's going to be... Uh, this really is, hard. This is just way too close. Our set meter about halfway full. And yep, and nice there it is. Kill. 
Now Marshall's got to wait for Fox to get back on stage. Now they can reset neutral and kind of worry about the buzz. But is this really a 2v1 now? No, now it is no, a 2v1. Yeah, now, now it's, it's a 2v1 because Luma's dead. Yep, Marshall's just, or not Marshall, excuse me, DeBuzz is just going to have to camp until he gets Luma back. It's going to be really hard to land. Interesting there, there. Oh, Ooh, that Marshall's back Marshall's off stage. Fonz can't gonna do be able a whole lot. Uh-oh. Nope, now we got... Oh, this no. is terrible. I don't think he's going to be able to recover from this. Nope, nope. and he can't. And he's about actually spiked. Dang. I thought, I'm so used to not seeing that spike. But anyway. Yep, it did. Very good adaptations from both DeBuzz and Ned. Realizing the situation and then... Adapting around it and for and uh, taking that game too. It's still close, but yeah. the thing is, Ned and the Buzz are just exploiting the weaknesses of these characters. It's really hard for Doc to save Snake in any situation. Like he just doesn't have the aerial mobility, and if he does go for it and fails, that spells dead Doctor Mario. Yeah, like, he can't really. Yeah, Doctor Mario gets. It's a very high reward, high risk. For trying something a little out of the out of safety. Very much so. And it's a lot easier for Snake. You have the better recovery, but both the Buzz and Ned are really starting to go ham on Marshall's recoveries. Yeah. Marshall had the like he was forced to recover high in a few situations to where, like he just kept getting caught when he was like recovering low by both like the Buzz's down airs and back airs and stuff. So Smashville pick here. Uh, they just don't want to give. I'm assuming they don't want to give the Buzz the space to camp which is what he had in both of those 2v1s. Luma's already yeah, dead. Dead Luma. And, uh, now, let's you know, they see. Just, they're keeping they him on ledge. Kept him on ledge so long, you got Luma back. Okay, interesting. I don't yeah. know if the Nair there comboed into the grab. And uh, the joke in the Wisconsin crowd right now is anytime a character is at 40%, they start screaming, wow, he's at kill percent. Because that's very close to actual kill percent yeah, when it comes to Dr. Mario. Oh, yeah. Like a down throw into down B, down tilt, down B. That basically spells death. But Man. the one trade off is like, it's super hard to commit as Dr. Mario because he's just going to get stuck in disadvantage for this long. Yeah, and and this might be a dead Dr. Mario. Marshall's just going to try to cover the buzz on the right side of the stage. Interesting approach yeah, by Marshall. And Joker up smash, one of Joker's amazing moves. Uh-oh. That could be a dead snake. Oh, nope. snake living. Snake got a great recovery. Yeah. DeBuzz just wasn't able to get that third downer there. Uh-oh. Nice He's off stage, but he just keeps keeps throwing this pressure on. Marshall can't do anything right now. Yeah. Marshall's struggling to even stay on stage. And when he is on stage, he just... Oh, that sucks. Yeah, he took 100% from that single ledge interaction. The buzz is just doing so good right now on ledge. Yeah, this is not looking great for Marshall and Fonz. I mean, he like said to not give them space to camp as well. Nice C4, but at, at the same time, it's kind of just like shortening the zone in which you can't, you have your yourself to run away. Oh, yeah. I mean, the smaller stage means the buzz and in certain situations, the buzz and lad have like less space in between each other. Fonz tries to cover that Joker recovery, but I don't think Dr. Mario is hey, like good enough to catch that low recovery. Nice up, you got a shield. Frame three, invincible. Not a lot you can do to punish that. No, not really. And yeah, that yeah over Fonz is just going for a lot of unsafe approach options right now. And it's really costing him here. Interesting up smash. Ooh, yeah, he's got our send now. Yeah, I think, no, I thought he did. Interesting. He does now. That's an interesting death. I didn't realize the buzz was off stage that low. Yeah. And it, he kind of just could recover that. Okay, that was nice. Joker's oh, at man. way too high of a percent to get killed by that uh, down throw up there. Ooh, nice kill on that Arsene. And the stocks are tied now, but... Uh, He's just I'm gotta, not going to say it's a lost cause, but it's He's just got to present Mar great. prevent Marshall from dying, but yeah. not able to do that. This is the worst possible situation for yeah. a team. With oh, the yeah. Dr. Mario off stage. Not a lot you can do. Tries to get that downward gun edge guard. And Fonz has just been stuck in disadvantage this whole time. There's nothing he can really do right now. Yeah, this is, this is tough. I mean, I guess... Fonz could maybe cheese a death on the buzz. Ooh, oh, Nair dang. down air. Dang, that was nice. 
3-0 by DeBuzz and Ned, and that's going to take the set. Yeah. 3-0 doesn't do that set justice. Yeah, that was a very good set. Both Marshall and Fonz kept it close the entire